Don't be mad. Don't be mad, my peoples. <laughs> but this your boy, SI. Um, I got a little bad news. Well, it could be big bad news for some people in their lives, but yeah. Um, the hatch is down though. Down, down, down. So one night, me and my girl, I say, mm, this happened about like say a week ago. Um, me and my girl on our way to Temecula Car Meet. I got the hatch, you know. It get praised wherever it go. <laughs> <laughs> but um we out going to Temecula car meet I jump on the freeway right <clears throat> and as soon as I jump on the freeway like I felt my car like you know a car vibrates when it have an exhaust but like I felt the like I should have followed my I should have I should have followed my first mind but I felt my car like the vibration of the of the engine like just I mean when I say slightly change like the feeling like when you know your car you know your car the feeling slightly just changed a, a, a tad bit and I should have just turned around and went back home and took her car or not even went at all but I was like you know whatever continue to push right got to the car meet checked it out you know it's a whole bunch of rice or bush shit going on you know the typical shit um revving 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 for no apparent reason uh bicycle i mean bicycle a motorcycle a cross rocket right next to us just i'm like i see why i stopped going to meets meets like this but the shit was corny as fuck you know some of the people that seen my hatch you know praised it you know, this car get praised everywhere we go because it's just so fucking fresh. But, um, left there, right? So, left there, and my girl was like, you know, let's go get something to eat. So, I'm like, all right, then, cool. Left there, and I say, from that area, like, not even five minutes, my boys. Not even five minutes. The car just start stuttering and then shut off well I, I shut it off like immediately but when it was happening though in a, in a in a process as this going on i looked at my oil gauge and i'm like oil pressure is fine like completely fine so i jump out the car i start pushing i look in back of me there's a dude in a white 350z helping me push but while he's helping me push he's compliment me on my car at the same time <laughs> oh man your car is so nice woo, 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 woo. i'm like bro just thank you i mean I, i'm just appreciating you helping me push this motherfucker in so we get we get pushed into the gas station i'm like damn you know what could it be so me and my girl chilling i pop the hood start looking at stuff right so she like just started up you know just to see started back up and immediately immediately i started hearing ding 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 i'm like oh shit. <sighs> but as i as the engine is moving i'm like this is this is coming from the top of the engine not the bottom so cut it off i should have never cut it back on but to hear that the damage was already done you know if it's already you if you're already hearing some clinging in, i mean if you're already hearing some clinging in your engine the damage is already done so <sighs> man i really hate when my car is down i really do i don't mean to cut the subject but fuck I hate when my car is down, man. Everybody do if you're a car guy, shit. Even if you're not, like, if it's the only ride to get to work and you need your whip. But anyway, so she like, you know, just. So she like just re, you know, started up again. 
So my girl's like, you know, just try starting it again. I'm like, no, I don't want to cause any more damage. Time went on and we there for about like two hours. I haven't started the car back up yet. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Started it, still hearing the, um, you know, the sound I'm hearing. And then all of a sudden the sound goes away. I'm like, what? That can't be a rod knock. So I started again. No more, no more, you know, ticking, no more ding, ding, ding. I'm like, hmm, this is weird. Rod knocks don't stop. Rod knocks get better, if anything. So I'm like, this can't be a rod knock. My oil pressure is still good. So I, I don't understand. Dude, you know, two guys, one in a super, right hand drive super automatic, really clean car. And a guy in a 3000 GT, non VR4, pulls up. And the guy in a 3000, two, two, two separate moments. The guy in a 3000. The guy in a 3000 GT pulls up first. We start talking. I'm complimenting him on his car. He complimented me on my car. He like, man, what's up? What's the deal? I'm like, hey, man, like, she just, you know, something went out on me. He was like, can you start it? Started it. And at this time, the 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 noise is still there. So he like, bro, that don't that don't sound like it's coming from the bottom end. That sound like it's coming from the head. I'm like, yeah, me too. Like, I knew I was, you know, I'm not tripping. So, you know, he was like, you know, I wish you the best of luck. You know, we shoot the shit a little bit. He went off. Guy in the super comes up. You know, we talk a little bit. He was like, you know, I hope you get your car back, you know, back up and running. And at this time, we're waiting for Triple A. Dude, it's like down there, one o'clock in the morning. Triple A come and decent time. But then I get hit with some bullshit talking about. Oh, my car is too low and yada, yada, yada. And we told somebody bike and something happened. So they gonna blame it on us. I'm like, I understand that though. But bro, I'm just trying to get home, dude. Guy would not tell me. 14 minutes away. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to just go for it. Fuck AAA. I want to get home. So I started it. And we're not hearing no, you know, none of that knocking sound. But the car is running really, really rough though. Like, I mean, really rough. I'm like, damn, could it be bad gas? You know, things that's just fucking flipping through my head like Marvel comics when a Marvel movie come on. If you know what I'm talking about. Flipping through my head. So we crawling all the way home at like between second and third gear at like, I say 30 to 20 miles an hour. And it's just, mm, 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 I'm really like fucking feather in the clutch. Just, man, I did some driving that night. Got at home and started examining shit, you know, looking over, seeing, you know, what's, what's the deal? The first thing I do is pull the spark plugs. I put a number one spark plug off top. Check out what I seen. Oh, damn, I kind of fixed it a little bit, but I'll still show y'all the spark plug that got hit. Put this first spark plug, and the spark plug was pinched shut. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Heads don't drop. Blocks don't move. So it's either... I did spit a raw bearing and it just stopped for whatever apparent reason or something with the piston, something moved and tapped the spark plug and caused that to happen. So I'm like, damn, like what's going on? I, I, I don't, you know, I'm lost. I'm confused. I don't understand. So I get a flashlight and I start looking inside the you know the cylinders i didn't see anything so a quick way to check your compression if you 
have any type of compression problems. You don't got to go buy a compression tester. None of that. I've been working on engines long enough to know. And I'm pretty sure other people may know this too, may not, whatever. But I take all the spark plugs out, right? And then I put the spark plug wires back in. And then I start turning the motor over. And I'm hearing, you know, it's making compression. All the cylinders make compression besides number one. That's how you can check if you have any compression problems in your engine by taking the spark plugs out, putting the spark plug wires back on the holes and turn your engine over. Your motor should make compression to pop. Or you should hear the seeping from the, um, the spark plug wires. Well, on a Honda, you can do that. So, four checks out, three, two, all checks out, but number one, not checking out. I'm like, oh man, so that means whatever the problem is, it's on this cylinder, cylinder number one. So, I'm like, hey, I'm not seeing anything with a light as I look through the, um, through the cylinder. You only can see so much through that little bitty, you know, spark plug hole. So, and I'm looking, I'm using a, um, a phone light. So I'm like, you know what, let, let me get, let, let your boy get some better light. Your boy go get a flashlight. Look down and I see a, I see the, um, the damn piston ring. I'm like, damn, Johnny, damn. So, me, mad scientist I am, I start ripping shit apart, you know. I already checked the bottom end, took the oil pan off, already checked the bottom end. I'm like, you know, hey, only thing I could do now is just rip the head off. I rip the head off, and guess what your boys see? Check this shit out. Y'all see that? Fuck out of here. Broke off. Got compressed. Smashed. Or tapped the spark plug. And then went out the exhaust valve. Did it get out the exhaust valve smooth? No. It hit one of my exhaust valves and bent it a little bit. Already did the test. Yes, yeah, bent. It didn't go out smoothly, which I was praying that, you know, I was praying that it did, but I'm glad that my head wasn't just rattled under, looking like a BB gun under the, um, you know, the cylinder. I don't have no scars in my cylinders and, and, and when this happened at all, it's fine. So, that failure. So, what can cause that failure? It could be bad piston ring gap, fail injector. Or, yeah, out of those two. Bell injector or bad, you know, bad gap on the rings. This car have not, since it been tuned, have never went into VTEC with it because my VSS or, v, or VVS in the transmission was never hooked up. So that caused my check engine light to come on. So I never hit V in this car. Only when it was getting tuned. So I never hit V, never raced it, haven't raced this car yet. And when this happened, I was only going like maybe 45 to 60 miles an hour when this happened. I haven't put the pistons out yet. I am. Matter of fact, that would be next video for sure. I'm going to pull the pistons out, but... So it's either the ring gap was too tight or it was a failed FIC fuel injector clinic bullshit injector that failed on me. One of the two. I've been leaning more towards the failed injector. You know, other people that's brand loyal Act like, oh, it just can't, you know, FIC just can't fail. Like, motherfucker, all parts fail. It's man-made. The best parts fail. So, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. 
I don't believe it was the piston ring gap. I believe it was the injector. We will find out real soon. Real, real soon. Overall, I'm not fucking with FIC injectors. Even if it's not the injector. I'm not fucking with them no more anyway. I'm only going ID 1000. I mean, IDs, period. I got ID 1000s and a Rex. I'm only going, um, you know, injector dynamic from now on. Like, in any car that I build. Period. Um... But yeah, boys, uh, so what I think actually happened, this is how I think it went down. Injector failed, knock occurred, piston broke, piece got compressed into the cylinder, tapped the spark plug, went out the exhaust valve, bent the exhaust valve, and that was that. I babied the car all the way home on three cylinders. That's how I think how that went. So we are going to find out if it was really the injector. Injector clip probably failed on me because I am running adapters. I'm not going to leave that out. I'm always real to y'all. To my YouTube family, I'm always real to y'all. Never leave nothing out. Or it was the ring gap. But... I don't believe it was the ring gap though. I really don't. But we're gonna find out. And I already have a brand new set of Super Tech Pistons on the way. People are like, why don't you just go CPs or use the CP Pistons that I already have. I think those are a different bore, but I still make and get away with them if I wanted to use them. But I don't wanna use low compression pistons. I want 10 or higher. So we're gonna find out. Um, people are like, why don't you just go, you know, CP, Wiseco. It's a Wiseco Pistons and a Rex right now. If you know anything about Pistons, you know, forged silicone, you know, is better for daily driving. Not, not to make too much power. You know, the only, the most power I will put on these Pistons is about like 500 horsepower. And with, and with silicone Pistons or silicone infused Pistons, it's more, they value more of the longevity. You can make power, but more of the longevity than, uh, I don't know the material, but like a, a forged, like I wanna say four or something like that. You know, I ain't finna act like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to forging, no, but you know, super tech pistons use silicone in them. And I think they, um, I wanna say a hyper, hyper tactic or something like that. That's that, that's that Viterra bullshit people be using. And, you know, but come to find out, these Supertech Pistons, the tune gotta be on point. My tune is more towards the rich side. And when I mean rich, check this out. Yeah. My tune is more towards, you know, priority on the rich side. My boy David for Import Auto Pros, I believe in my boy tunes. My car always ran well with his tunes and it was not the tune, so we can rule that out. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry I didn't have my GoPro with me because that could have been footage. And I, I know I told y'all that I'm gonna be having my GoPro with me wherever I go with my hatch or whatever I do with my car. So I apologize for that. And when we get this bad boy back up and running, I will make sure I have my GoPro, my camera with me wherever I go. So forgive me for not having it. And yeah. Rate, comment, sub. This your boy, S.I. Rico. And we'll be back up and running real soon. So don't worry. You know, it's my baby. And I know, I don't even want to bring up the Rex. I know y'all been wanting to see that. But, hey, that's my that's my personal right there. So, you know, whenever that get filmed, that get filmed. But this is my other baby. This is my daily. So this get more of the attention. But... Yeah, man. Hatch is down. I ain't tripping, though. We'll be right back up and running real soon. 
It's your boy, SR Rico. Rate, comment, sizzle. And I'll catch y'all on our next one, though. I'm out. Love y'all. Peace. Welcome. Welcome.